as storms are on the way. What's good, y'all? It is day two fishing with the man, Adele, over here. Yesterday, he put me to chain and caught two five-pounders at different ponds, and uh, we're hoping today is uh, no different. It is definitely challenging conditions. It's just been uh, a lot of thunderstorms out here in the Dallas area, and so the water, just terrible visibility. I mean terrible visibility, but that didn't stop us yesterday, and it's not going to stop us today. We got some more friends joining us. You guys, we're going to do some pond hopping. It should be a bunch of fun, and uh, this place promotes catch and release. So let's go ahead and get some lines in the water. This is my first cast. You missed me flinging it, but I promise you, I just got this thing in the water. I'm, I'm throwing an exo swim on a flash bang, and wow, does it look good. Oh my gosh. This is what we're working with. I'm trying to keep my back to the wind. That way you guys can hear me. I just picked up a little, little tad bit of grass. I want to say this is a, I want to say that's a quarter ounce. It could be maybe three eighths. And the uh, hook just kind of sits recessed nicely into this little indent on the top of this body. Tails are fluttering and it gives it that extra flash with this blade right here. Uh, an awesome option for this spot right here. Uh, another option here that I think would be fantastic is a chatterbait. Lastly, uh, you know, if it gets more cloudy, I, I think a spinnerbait. Just kind of moving a spinnerbait very slow through here. Just trying to uh, get in front of a lot of fish's face. More uh, flash with extra blades on those spinnerbaits and you're moving a little bit slower. You might actually get more bites than what I'm even throwing right here. Because the clarity is so low, you kind of get uh, more time in a fish's face and if these fish are on beds and we just can't see them because of the time of year you know if you're really strolling over that bed there's a good chance you might get that hit or if this thing's just breezing by who knows if they uh, decide to go for it make some casts here oh there goes bass right there mug all right you do your thing cover that a little bit Got one. All right. No way. No way. Halfway decent, dude. Yes, right there in the current, you guys. Look at this. Polka dotted. That's what we are talking about. All right. You know, that didn't take very long. Honestly, that was maybe 15 minutes in. I worked the I worked that swim bait for just a little while and then I quickly decided let's go ahead and throw around the crawl hit the bottom and again I'm looking at this current right here and uh, just thinking maybe there's some activity uh, and was not wrong and trust me I've cast it in here maybe 10-15 times now working it very slow so just a little persistence I'm pretty sure there's fish here and so I'm just trying to stay in front of their face for as long as possible and that is what got the first one of the day very nice all right guys so check us out man just working i know i just talked to you guys a lot about a lot of the key points there but i also wanted to point out how i was using the color that adele recommended to me yesterday that i don't throw a lot it's bama bug man it's almost like a natural but it's got like a purple with a nice flake really good for uh mixed clarity waters so you, you could throw this in clear water my opinion get away with it you can also throw it in the stained water and it has that nice flash and uh, it got the job done today here guys so if you haven't thrown bama bug remember you can get 15 percent off all your guggen baits down in the description is all the details. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back in the water. We're gonna try and catch some more. Okay, so bringing Adele out here for the first time, I was hoping he would get on the first fish, but uh, we beat him to the punch. So he's gonna have to step it up. He, he smoked me yesterday, so uh, it's all on you, bro. You gotta get the next one. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the crawl. All right, let's try and get in here for a couple more. Adele is now joining me. Bring that rod tip down real in the slack when you're working these Texas rigs. You want to keep your line tight. You got to be able to, to, to detect those bites, especially when it's windy. I know you guys can hear it right now. Holy smokes, there it goes. So in this high wind, your line is always getting pushed around. It's tough to detect bites, so make sure you're keeping that line tight and just give it some pops every now and again. Uh, I'm assuming that with this current, some fish might be kind of roaming around down here, or they might be bunched up. And so no need to pop it real fast. Just leave it in that zone, in the strike zone. But there's probably beds all over here. Yeah, I don't know.
nacían. <risa> that first fish we hit the spot over there by the tree we are going to make our first move hit some different areas of this pond and then possibly try some others in the area friends are still busy and on their way and we're going to link up with them soon and we're going to catch some more fish for you guys let's go all right let's get it making a move right here. This is protected from the wind. I'm gonna hit this corner. Okay, y'all, despite how juicy this zone usually is, things are not looking too bright at the moment. It's literally like a wind tunnel. I'm surprised it's this calm at the moment. It has just been howling through here. It's tough to even detect your bait on the bottom because of that, and so I think we're about to make a move. Uh, we're getting a few last casts in though before that, and then we're about to hop back up the wall, and I think we're going to possibly hit another pond. Here comes the wind. Let's get the next spot. <laughs> oh. Hey puppies! <laughs> oh boy, we have made it to the spot guys. This is the next one on the list and guess what? You've seen it recently. If you saw the video where Tate, we've put him on his first ever bed fish. We're hoping that there's some more clarity here. It almost looks uh, pretty dang good. So let me grab the shades, let me grab the hat, a couple rods. Adele's here. Let's cast some lines. Y'all, this one's looking much better. We just kind of walked that bank, spooking fish all alongside it. Uh, here's what appears to be possibly some baby bass. We've definitely spooked some uh, bass off the banks, though, as we walked over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Dude, it's like all this stuff got pushed up. I think their beds got ruined. Guys, we're going to go ahead and probably just fan cast here. Definitely seeing some smaller bass. We're looking for the bigs. Where are they at? Just kidding. We have spotted two large bass. Uh, one of them is definitely over three pounds just beyond this grass line. I'm sure you can barely see it. Let's go ahead and see if we don't spook them after a cast or two. I don't I don't think they got spooked away, which is a good sign because he went pretty close to the bed. All right, we're gonna try and work these. I'm gonna tie on a white bandito bug so I'm, I have a better visual on if it gets picked up. Oh, they're a little further out now. Corner pocket. Oh, not a fish, dang. Try the other one. Okay. After a few casts, we determined they were not necessarily locked, but they were, needless to say, we're gonna hit another pond now. There was nothing here for us, so. <laughs> next spot. Well, okay, um, that's a different site. <laughs> we made it to the next spot after 25 minute drive almost, and these spots could be very good. Stick around, y'all. We're gonna switch you over to the GoPro. I'm probably gonna leave the hat inside. Storms are on the way, imminent. And let me tell you what, that thing's gonna just fly right off. So, let me grab a couple rigs. Let's hit the water. How you feeling about the weather? Oh, dude, I'm loving it, man. Put me in a good mood, honestly. Yep. This could be where the bites really start to pop off. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I've hit some in this spot here. The wind's blowing this way. It could be a good idea. All right, let's, let's right. try this. Yeah, let's go. Good news and bad news. It sounds like there's fish here, but Adele missed the bites. So let's see what happens. Where are you at? We're both snagged. Yeah, we probably spooked anything now, but... <sighs> Thought I had one. Just working in the shallows. Oh, he got it again. Okay, there's definitely a fish down here. Got one. All right. There we go. Woo! <laughs> First one over here on the crawl, just working them on the bottom. And I didn't even hardly react because I'm like, is this a fish? Dude, he snuck up on me. That was cool. A couple black dots just like that first one today. Not the size we're after though. A decent fish, but I think we can get some bigger ones. And again, on that Bama bug, crack and crawl. Let's go. Pre-storm. Beep. Pre. Alrighty then. Let's go, man. Second bass of the day. Oh, he's gonna plop out. There he goes, okay. I thought he was gonna hop out, give us a little dance. Let's now go ahead and try and catch some more. It's starting to rain a little bit, which does not bug me at all, but I think my camera is about to get soaked. I better go put that in the truck. It could be just little, little scattered storms, I'm thinking, based on how it looks around us. So I'm gonna put the camera up though, 
and we will uh, make that move. All right, all right, all right. Slight change in the weather pattern, ladies and gentlemen. I got a feeling whoop, there's potential. Oh, prime real estate in the weeds. Well, took a few casts at least. I don't know, looking grim. Better call it. All right then, Dude, I'll hit you up again soon. Well, that put a damper on our plans rather quickly. It is actually calm down a little bit. Well, the show must go on. So we have uh, actually made it to another pond. We were both on our way home and then the rain cleared up quite quickly and we decided let's hit this little spot right over here. I've been getting them, yeah. I don't know if the bass are in here. I wonder if they're... There we go. Yes, <laughs> I, said, I just said, I don't know if the bass are in here. Look away, <laughs> oh my god. I was literally just telling Adele, I think they're out a little bit deeper. And so, <laughs> well, glad we stuck it out after the storm, my friend. <laughs> One for the exo swim. All right, let me get this on the gram and then it swam with it for a second. <laughs> That's funny. I was just like, wait, is this thing moving? <laughs> See you, little buddy. And this is the exo swim bait here with the flash bang on it that I started throwing at the very beginning of the day and didn't get any hits on. Now that we've been seeing these fish more active, chasing bait fish and also even breaching the surface, I wanted to break this back out. Seems like it's the move. We shall see if it can't land something a little larger though. Yo, Adil just caught a gar. What were you throwing? Dude, what were you throwing? The cracking crawl, the right? Cracking crawl. That's it. I'm telling you. Nice little gar. Woo. Oh yeah, no skunk. <laughs> that was uh, his first fish of the day. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh, holy smokes, what a beautiful spot. I left the big camera in the truck, so I'm just using the iPhone on the uh, wide mode. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if that was recording or not. The GoPro was running, but it was kind of tripping out. I took the battery out and then it said file repaired. We're gonna see what happens. Y'all will have already known, but that was cool. Just cast it right here off to the left in the reeds, I think. Yep. Exactly. Boom, crazy man, good work. All right. Let's get it, baby. yeah. Well, if we leave here, I probably better call it because I need to get some editing done and I'll stay and cast here for a little bit longer. But if I'm after this, I better split. No doubt this was another good day. We had a blast on this one. Go ahead and check out Adele's Instagram page. I'm going to put it down and in the description. He's been super cool so, uh, showing me some of his favorite spots these last couple days. We've been catching some big fish and I'll tell you what, be looking out for some big ones on these next few videos, you guys. I'm pretty pumped about filming a lot more while this uh, virus is going around. And while that's happening, I hope to put out a video a day or something along those lines. Very close to it. I'm gonna try my best. I'm still trying to get out and film all day. So uh, we gotta leave time for the editing, right? With that being said, let's uh, just work on getting home. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.